Hello everyone! Welcome back to Sims Proving Every Day. I'm Gina, and I missed you guys last Thursday. I am so sorry. I ended up working an extra day last week, and I was kind of sick on top of it. So the combination of those two about kilt me, but I am on the mend. I still sound a little rough, so I apologize for that. Anyway, remember if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Help your girl out, please and thank you. So where are we? Okay, so I had recorded an episode 14 and I did two one hour sessions for it, but it was when I was really sick and it just wasn't entertaining. There were a couple of key things that happened that I tried to at least screenshot. My Sim became a full-fledged member of the Wild Fangs. Lou proposed under the full moon and northern lights, and we eloped. However, during the recording of that, I realized, and it could be just because I was sick and irritable, I realized I'm over werewolves. I'm, I'm done. I know we do already have the new high school years now, so I'm, I'm kind of just done with werewolves. Here's my honest opinion of the werewolves pack. I love the interactions, especially the toddler and children's interactions. I love the romantic actions when you can make wolf eyes at your partner and growl seductively and all that kind of stuff. That's awesome. I love all that. I love the build and buy stuff. I love the lore. Now, I hate that they can mark territory inside. That just icks me out, and I tried to hold it together for the series, but that really made my skin crawl. I hate that they are almost completely uncontrollable during their rampages, and I've said that several times, that there's just really no way to get them to do anything specific. There's a couple of things. You can go here, you can scavenge the ground, you can mark your territory, I think you can even get into a fight, but other than that, there's no way to get it worked out of the system faster, and unless you try to regain control or have another werewolf pacify, those don't always work either. You know, it's it's just a little bit irritating. I don't like that they destroy stuff when they're in these rampages. I've spent so much money replacing and fixing things, it's ridiculous. I really don't like the pack notices and probations. So if you get the pack notice, if, if you haven't caught on to it, you get the pack notice. If you ignore it, you get put on probation. If you ignore the probation notice, then you have to report to the alpha before you can do anything. The couple of times that I've had to report to the alpha, she has demoted... Um, so on this one, this is the this is your werewolf rank within the pack. If you have to report to her as punishment, she takes this bar like all the way down to whatever rank you are. And I've that being said, I have learned quite a bit, which I will get to in just a minute. So also during the recording of the episode 14 that we're not going to see, um, I decided to tie up my loose ends in Moonwood Mill and move to Copperdale for Luna's teen years and her high school education and all that kind of stuff. So what I did was I played from the beginning of Sims Fall to mid-spring, which is where we are now, and I did that off camera and I tried to record big moments. I tried to get screenshots of important stuff and I've been to Copperdale. I've built them a house, which they will move into after we make sure all of the business is taken care of in Moonwood Mill. So when I say I want to wrap up the business in Moonwood Mill, um, my sim, I had my sim bust her ass to get the garden where it needed to be. So I have... 10 perfect dragon fruit plants and 10 perfect orchid plants. And when they get to this stage and they are producing fruit and flowers respectively, 
They produce two per plant every day. Every day I get 20 perfect orchids and 20 perfect dragon fruits. And that has this, this 224,000 simoleon figure. Most of that came from one week of produce selling it at Hanford on Bagley. And then over here, we do have a straggler wolf spain, and I'll explain that in just a minute. So in addition to busting our butts to get the garden where it needed to be, Lou and I have done a lot of working out to get to the physical level because I want to uh, give Greg a beat down and I need to challenge Rory for the alpha position. We also worked really hard and we got all of the collectibles from Moonwood Mill and they're down there just so that I, I put them in order and I'm hoping that when we decipher all of them, there's still a couple that I need to um, actually decipher. I'm hoping that when we put them together, we get the story in order. So I've also had them work really hard on getting all of their wolf stuff taken care of, like their ability points. The only two that I don't, that I didn't really worry about was the Immortal Wolf and the Legacy of the Lycan. This turns ability points into satisfaction points. So I actually purchased this one, but each time it changes to satisfaction points, it takes it off. So really the only one I didn't get was Immortal Wolf, and then I'm not worried about these dormant abilities over here. But Lou and I both are maxed out on the abilities. We're both the full, well, he's, oh, he's got a notice. Um, we're both almost full betas. Um, I, I have been trying really hard to stay off of Rory's crap list because it just does make things easier when she doesn't drop your bar down. Okay, so quickly, some of the stuff that I've learned was that reading werewolf literature does actually help. The Diary of Gregorius Lundvik is really important. It teaches the recipes for grilled luna fish, which um, will give you enhanced physical ability, moon petal punch, and the cure for lycanthropy. During one of the loading screens, I realized that it said um, rampaging werewolves have a hard time with locked doors. So if I would have kept the basement room like I was planning on it, um, I think that would have helped a lot. But I demolished that at one point when I really needed some cash. And then the whole Mark territory thing. I'm sure if we don't give them the ability in the ability tree. It's right here. Um, I'm wondering if we don't give them that ability. If they will not do that in the house. However, marking territory is a really big factor in keeping this bar pretty steady. It's an easy way to keep this bar steady and help the bar increase. Okay, so here's the plan going forward. So we're right here on Thursday. It is a full moon. We're celebrating Luna's birthday, even though I have it right here. I put it right here so that she doesn't go to school tomorrow as a teenager. This week is actually spring, but I don't want her going to high school yet because I want her to start high school in the fall because where I grew up, we started school in the fall and then had summer off. So this week is spring. I just gave it to her off. And then this is like, these two weeks are like summer break. And then we're probably going to move after this fair so that she can start school on Monday, the first day of fall down here. Okay, so... We are going to be celebrating her birthday. It is a full moon. As I've mentioned before, I'm not sure if her werewolf abilities will form as a teenager or if she has to wait until she's a young adult. If they form as a teenager, that'll be excellent because then she can experience a couple weeks with the werewolf traits and stuff like that. I think she's really into it, and I think it's going to break her heart when I tell her that we are going to cure ourselves of it. Anyway, 
But because it's the full moon, I want to go ahead and make the grilled Luna fish. And I want Lou to go challenge Greg and hopefully he wins. And I am going to go challenge Rory for Alpha and hopefully I win. If everything goes successfully, cool. If not, I'm going to keep trying up until we move. And if Luna's werewolf abilities don't kick in until she's a young adult, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do because she's going to be going to school with, with those werewolf mood swings that we love so much. All right, so let's get a move on because we only have so many hours of the full moon. All right, so let's go out here and grill some Luna fish. Luna fish, Luna fish. There we go. Oh, and her birthday checklist is up here. Um, we can have them see something's broken already. I just fixed everything. All right, Luna, turn on some pop. Why not? And let's dance. We'll do the beastie boogie and we'll get Lou to dance. Beastie boogie. And my sim is coming in so she can join them and that will knock that one out. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. All right. Beastie boogie. And go. All right. Okay. So let's open... Let's open that and let's get that out. Okay, and we will stop dancing. Call to meal. Okay, I hope this goes according to plan. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, like, the drool either. Okay, let's see. Do we have any... Okay. So, power of the Luna fish. Lou is over the moon right now, packed to the gills with energy. Okay. How long does that last? Six hours. Okay. So, we've got six hours to make Luna's birthday feel special. And then we've got to go do our werewolf business. Okay. So, the cake is in her inventory. Add birthday candles. All right, let's see. Can we celebrate Luna? If you will. Okay. Oh, Luna learned how to make the fish just from eating it. And she gets the buff too. Cool. Okay. Make a wish, please. Teenage Dome, Romantic Travels, what I, not sure if I pronounced that right, Sweaty Gym Shorts and the Hormonal Upheavals Await, 
Best buckle those boots. The ride starts here. Yay. Okay. All right. So Luna has grown into a full-fledged werewolf. She has gained a temperament and now has to maintain fury. She can also now seek out a pack, learn abilities, and partake in werewolf life. She is going to be so bummed that we are going to be curing ourselves. All right. So she, I, I forgot to mention that Luna is actually amazing. She completed her aspiration. She got to be an A student without us really helping her with her homework. She did it all on her own. She always does her extra credit. She got to level 10 of the violin skill on her own without me telling her to. And I mean, she she's actually just amazing. So I think we should go ahead and give her creativity for now. Um, actually, you know what? Since, since we're going to take it away from her pretty quick, we may as well have her do the werewolf one. But we've got some new teen ones that we can check out after we do this one. Which she's not going to get. She might not get all the way through that. So let's see. She loves the outdoors. And um, she is, you know, let's give her... Let's give her a music lover for now, and we'll see if she decides she wants to change that. Okay, and then something else about Luna is that all of her character values are positive. I have never had a sim with all five of them positive. She is literally just amazing. But I can tell from the back that I don't like that outfit and I'm not super crazy about that hair. So we are going to go to create a sim and fix her up just a little bit. All right, so I figured since Miss Luna is a teenager now, I will go ahead and show the outfits that I threw together for her. This one's actually a styled look from the werewolf pack. Um, and I have to let you guys know she is not a cute werewolf. I don't know what happened, but it's like when I went into her werewolf form, it's like she didn't have any of any kind of like markings. Like her nose is white, around her eyes was white. Like if you look at me and Lou, like we have coloring on our nose and our lips and around our eyes. Luna does not have that. So I don't know if like pigment comes in later or what, but the little bit of dark around her eyes, I did. And she just looks kind of ridiculous. But I, I gave her the same uh, folded ears, Lou. I think that's the same one. Yeah. So I gave her the same folded ears, Lou. So that's cute. But um, yeah, she's not a cute werewolf. Uh... Uh, yeah, that, uh, that's all I can say about that. All right. All right. So we have everyday. We have formal. We have athletic. Sleep. Party. This was a styled look as well. Swimwear. Hot weather. And cold weather. So my resolution was to complete an aspiration milestone. I knew I was going to try to challenge Rory for the alpha. I knew I was going to do that within seven days, so that's why mine's not completed yet. I'm not going to stop you from working out. I noticed that she unfortunately got my initial body shape. Well, it wasn't great, but uh, we did it. Anyway, we got the bar because we need the bar to do the moon petal punch and the uh, cure. Okay, so it doesn't look like the moon is having an effect on her yet. He's gonna try to... Oh, Luna's transforming. For the first time. Again, she's not gonna look cute. I apologize. 
Okay, so she is now a werewolf front, and she's transforming again. All right, so probably shouldn't have left her alone. Let's see if I can pacify her real quick. Oh, she calmed down. Cool. Luna has already learned how to transform at will. She's already doing better than I did. Okay, we still got that. What's this? Good job, Lou. Okay, so let's be real. It's completely normal for a werewolf to burst into an uncontrollable lycanthrope-induced rage every time the full moon rises. In fact, werewolves are acutely emotional creatures. It's the moon magic. It won't stop transformations, but experts recommend that if you need a reprieve from your mood, you try a moon petal-infused drink. See, this is what I mean. It, if you actually read this stuff, it does give you a lot of hints. Lou, you just beat Greg. What are you doing? Are you going to Disneyland? I would. Okay. My turn. Rory is sleeping. Oh. Uh oh. -uh. Dude, come on. Seriously? She's sleeping during a full moon. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and head home, and then I'll come back later on in the day, and I'll have, I'll eat some of the leftover grilled Luna fish, and then see if I can find Rory. <laughs> okay, so we can, we can do tug of war or honorable brawl. Um, ooh, what do I think I'm going to win at? You know what? Let's, let's just go full out. Poor Lou. He did get the crap kicked out of him during that fight. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. So I didn't win and um, I'm on I, I'm on notice. After I heal, we'll do it again. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I pointed this out. We did get a plaque for completing the Moonwood Mill collection. Locating all of those old relics must have been a very dusty experience. This plaque is offered in celebration of your effort to maintain Moonwood Mill's history and the effort of all that additional cleaning required. So to make the Moon Petal Punch and the Cure, you don't need any mixology skill. You just need to unlock the recipe and have the ingredients. Okay, what are you screaming about? Oh, she's just... She's practicing debate. Rory has requested that Lou report to her for disciplinary action. It's best not to keep her waiting. Okay, just in case I haven't. I don't think I've done this on camera before. 
She's all mad. Well, I mean, she's had both of her pack mates try to turn against her today, so I guess I could understand. Okay. With the way you've been acting, I have to give you a penalty to your pack rank. I know this isn't a fun conversation for either of us, but when you're part of the pack, you have to act like it. See, so it took a chunk out right there. All right, here we are at the Finchwick Fair, getting ready to sell our stuff. All right, so... Um, I can go ahead and get rid of the Captain Fish Bones. Now the Dragon Fruit, we have over 99, and they are $765 each. Each. And the Orchids, $688 each. We still have 52. All right, we can get rid of the fish. Uh, the Luna fish I want to go ahead and keep. Mm, sturgeon we can get rid of. Wolfsbane. Mm. I want to keep the Wolfsbane because we might need that. And let's I'm keeping 12 of each just in case um, something happens to the plants during the move because that has happened before so I want to make sure I have the actual fruit and the actual flowers to keep it going just in case. I think I am going to go ahead and wrap this episode up and we will continue on our journey to become Alpha next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. This guy is making me crazy. Hold on. Remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Questions, kind comments, and feedback are always welcome. And remember, be a nice human. Or a werewolf. Bye, everybody.